Hey guys, Survival Bob here, and I've got a quick video for you on the best, most fun way to make nanites that I've found so far in No Man's Sky. Now, before I get started, I'm going to give a quick shout out to Alex, one of the guys who plays with me on my uh, multiplayer world, uh, for showing me this. He kind of discovered it and explored it, and I know there's some videos that touch on this. But uh, but we've got a little bit of a method that Alex has put together and I've been working on. So I started with just under 5,000 nanites. I've made 70,000 nanites so far. So uh, And I started with 700 million. I've got 786 now. Uh, so this is definitely not a way that makes you lose money. You're going to be able to make a little bit of money. You're not going to go gangbusters on it, but you're going to make some money. And you're going to make a ton of nanites and you're going to have fun while you're doing it. Uh, so let's take note of where we're going to start, and I'm going to do this for an hour or so. We'll cut in and out and show you kind of where we end up. So first thing you need to do is you need to find the right spot. That is crucial. You're going to do this in a space station, and what we're going to be doing uh, is going to be involving scrapping ships, but there's a method to it that I think you'll find useful and uh, make sure you don't get carried away while you're working on it. So the first thing you want to do is you want to find the right system. Now, I've explored a lot of different systems. I always hit the wrong button there. So you want to go to your um, Discoveries tab, and you want to find a system that is going to be prosperous, affluent, wealthy, something like that. You want a Tier 3 system. You want one that's going to be wealthy, and you want the conflict level to be relatively low, uh, which is going to make sure you're getting more ships in the station. Then go check that station out and see kind of what's the traffic flow look like. How many ships are you getting in? How frequent are the waves because this is important um, this station gets three or four ships coming in every few minutes which is really great and uh, you want to make sure also that you don't have a high um, amount of haulers so I wouldn't necessarily go to a GEC system haulers are not going to be useful in this you want shuttles you want explorers you want fighters but uh, haulers you're probably not going to touch so let me show you what we're doing uh, we are looking at the ships that come in, and we are looking very specifically for ships that are B-class or higher, that are, I'd say, under two and a half, three million. Okay, you really want that's why haulers are going to be out of it, and these uh, these higher tier fighters are going to be out of it, but the lower tier fighters are definitely going to be in it. We're going to look for those ships. We're going to buy them. We're going to scrap them, and we're going to do that rinse and repeat over and over again. Now there's a special thing we're going to do with some of the storage augmentation I'm going to show you uh, as we go into it to help you make your money back because when you buy and sell a ship you're going to lose 30% of your money right off the bat and I know I know that sucks right so that's why you got to have a little bit of cash to start I'd say 40 50 million would be good but from there uh, you're going to you're going to make money if you do this the right way bingo right there that's what we're looking for B class what is that 935,000. So let's go buy this guy. Alright, so we want to make an offer, negotiate price, and then we're going to buy it. Immediately after you buy it, go in and scrap whatever you can. You cannot scrap these four items, five items, but you can scrap everything else. So I throw that in my exosuit high capacity because I'm going to end up with a lot of that. And then I'm going to run up here and scrap it. Paying attention. All right, so there's another one. All right, we want that one too. Make sure you've got at least um, two available slots for ships that you can buy. You can own six ships. So you want to own no more than four to do this. I own, I'm down to three right now. Uh, so I want to make an offer. We're going to negotiate price on that one as well. We're going to go ahead and buy it. So we just bought two. I'm going to go ahead and scrap this. Scrap that. Throw that in there. Throw all this stuff in here. And then... So, okay, see they're coming in now. That's a C-class though, and that's a C-class. So we don't want the C-classes. Because yeah, what, you, what we're going to do is we're going to sell the upgrades we get for nanites. That's how we're going to make our nanites. Alright, so we're going to come here. It's got our ship. We're going to claim the scrap. We're going to lose 30% of the money we just bought. So claim the scrap. And see we got those upgrade modules that just jumped in our inventory? That's what we're going to use to sell for nanites. Okay. Be careful. So my uh, 
my exotic popped in next, and I do not want to scrap that one by accident. All right, what is that? Oh, okay, so there's a fighter. We want to get that one, too. So I'm going to jump in this one to make it my primary. All right, so we're in a hotcake place now. So let's go ahead and buy this one real quick as well. we got a good group coming in right now. If you find the right station, you'll definitely be able to do this. But definitely going to have to spend some time to do it. All right, so we're going to buy that. Got an A-class, which is excellent. Go ahead and get rid of this stuff. And then I saw another one come in, which is usually one of my money ships I recognize. All right, it's a C-class, though, so I'm not going not gonna to mess with it. Going to be disciplined, Bob. Be disciplined. All right, so let's come over here. We got our shuttle. Not shuttle. Whatever. What is this thing called? Fighter. That's what it is. We're going to scrap it. I don't know if I said this at the beginning, but you definitely want to make sure your exosuit is cleaned out because you're going to fill it up with a ton of junk. All right, so we got some more stuff. Right, quit pulling that one back up. I don't want to, I don't want that one. I want this one. All right, so I've switched primary ships. Oh, what's that one? God, I gotta get that one. I'm never gonna scrap that first one because I keep seeing ones I want, but that's okay. That's what you want to do. This is part of the game. The more you can grab, the quicker this will go. Let's get it. All right, so I don't wait around there. I'm gonna go look. All right, looks like we got another one. That's a B class. Let's go get it. So they are moving in fast right now, guys. That's why the system is extremely important that you find the right station. I'll show you the uh, the station I'm in if you want to come here. I am on PC. I'll uh, show you the glyph coordinates for it uh, as well, so you can see where this is if you want to come to the station and do what I'm doing. Now I am in um, normal mode. So I don't know the difference it's going to make in other modes, but this is where I'm at so far. The birth of gravity. Goodbye, birth of gravity. You were a great ship while I had you. Did I, did I forget to scrap the components? I forgot to scrap the components, didn't I? See, that's what happens when I'm talking and doing too many things at once. Okay, see, that's my explorer, but it's a C-class. I don't want it. So I'm going to take a second, now that i got a moment to breathe... I'm going to go to my exosuit, and I'm gonna, every one of these I'm going to throw into cargo. Because these are going to fill up quick, so I want all of this stuff over here. Stacking on itself, because I can get more of it in there before I have to stop and sell stuff. Actually, I'm going to leave that there. Alright, so storage augmentation is what we're after. I think I started with one, so I've gotten two so far. And that's really what we want to get to, because that's going to help us make our money back. Alright, B-class, B-class. Alright, you, you come here. Oh, well, I lost that one. You made me lose that one, dude. What are you thinking, man? It's alright, I'll take yours. Negotiate. I love how it says negotiate, like you have any choice in what you pay for it, right? Alright, let's go here. Get this. Alright, I don't want that one, don't want that one, probably want that one, yep, B-class, I'll take it. Alright, so we got two B-classes, but they're over our price break, so we're not gonna, we're not gonna get them. Definitely over our price. Remember, you wanna stay under, uh, three million when you're buying these, two and a half really is your sweet spot. Now, if I see an S-class, I'm gonna buy it pretty much no matter what, uh, because I want the S-class units. And well, I'll show you why as well. Now that exotic over there, uh, I got in this station. So if you want that one, come over here and get it. I've seen three of those come in on waves and it's not the first wave. So while I'm waiting and I don't have anything, I'm going to go back to my exosuit. I'm going to start throwing this stuff in high capacity so I can keep it moving. I'm going to just do a little organization. All right, I've seen a couple ships come in. You can kind of see them through the uh, through the faded part. All right, here we go. Big money. All right, A-class fighter. You get to recognize the ships after a while and kind of know what what's a good one. And this one comes in A through S-class. And if I find an S-class one, I'm definitely going to buy it because it's it's one of my money makers. 
Alright. I'm always terrified I'm going to hit the wrong button and accidentally swap my ship out. So make sure the ship that you bring is not one you really care about a whole lot. Alright, so my backpack's getting full. Let me sell some stuff to this guy before I buy his ship. This will hold him here uh, so he doesn't fly off. I'm not running up to the terminal to do it. So I'm going to go sell items. Uh, it's important that you do not sell these. That is bad. So I'm only going to sell stuff that I'm positive or, or not really negative on. So, And I'm really just getting space. I'm not going to sell that. I'll sell that. Sell that. Sell that. Sell that. Keep watching that storage augmentation because I have sold eight of those by accident. And uh, Bob might have cried a little bit. All right, so everything else. Uh, no, no. See, I keep seeing this plus six and I want to sell it. Don't do that. All right, so I'm back up. I'm down 10 million now after uh, selling what I wanted to sell. Let's see, let's, uh, oh yeah, I was gonna buy your ship, wasn't I? Let me buy this. Okay, so let's check where we're at. Five storage augmentation. Kinda wanted more, but it's only been about 15 or 20 minutes. But look at all this. All right, let's go ahead and sell these components. purchase upgrade modules but we're actually gonna sell them so I'm just gonna sell all of these so where was I like 74 5 I think when I started so 81 8 so what is that four five six six or seven thousand nanites Bob's not great at math all right so those two are stuck I keep seeing them but I can't buy them and I can't get in them uh, that's a C that's a B nothing looking good here so let's go ahead and jump into uh, my ship to create a save hit the right button Bob go to options and reload the auto save there alright fellas this is what we've been waiting for let's take a look and see if it's the one got an s-class fighter come in let's see what one, two, three, four, five, six slots. Yeah, let's see. All right, this one's a bit expensive. It's 18 million. I'm going to go ahead and buy it. All right, did I, did I, didn't I buy that one already? Yeah, I did. All right, so let me scrap that other one. It's going to leave me with one free slot to buy a ship. Oh, we got the other exotic. Oh my gosh. All right. This is crazy. But this is the system. You should come here. It works. So I'm about to be full. One, two. Oh, this one's perfect. This one is the is the one. So let's buy it. All right. So now I'm full. I can't buy. I want to buy that one, but I can't. Um... So let's see, what do we buy that one for? 12 million. This one needs five storage augmentation. And I think I have eight now. I have nine. All right, so we're gonna throw five in this thing. It was worth 12 million. We can scrap it for eight four. We're going to upgrade the Starship. Now you can buy storage augmentation, but you'd have to be really, really rich and not care to do it I wouldn't do it it's eight million per slot uh, that, that's just not worth it so let's apply augmentation all right so we're gonna do one two three four and then we're gonna stop here okay now it will let me put one there but I'm not gonna do that I'm just gonna go and, and leave okay it was worth 12 million let's see what it's worth now now it's worth 41 million okay so this is where we make our money back. I'm gonna go ahead and scrap it. I put five storage augmentation in it, so I should have four left. I'm gonna claim scrap worth 28.7. Get it, see ya. And I didn't get any storage augmentation. That sucks. But 
we made most of our money back after we sell everything. All right, so we just got our six storage augmentation, and it has been an hour, right at an hour since we started this process. We've scrapped the one S-Class. Um, I've got the other one. I'm not buying that. So this one needs one, two, three, four, five, six. I bought it for 18, yep. Let's see if we can get the price to increase on this and make some more of our money back. Now, uh, you don't have to use a store augmentation on these. If you don't buy these, you can use them for yourself, but I'm doing this as a way to make money and uh, show you guys kind of how to do it. So you want to upgrade the ship again. Uh, we're going to apply augmentation. I am not paying 16 million a piece for it. Bam, 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 and bam. The inventory size has increased and it opened up a whole nother row, which should increase the price of this to 71 million. So we went from 18 to 71 million. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and scrap this one now. I'm gonna disassemble my components. So Bob wants all the money he can get. And remember what we say it was worth? 71 million. So we're going to get 70% of that. When we scrap it, we'll lose 30%. That'll give us 50 million. We paid 18, so we'll make a quick 32 mil. And we'll get those S class modules, and hopefully, we'll get some storage augmentation back too. Now, I just got rid of all of my other. Um, pieces. I gotta quit. Quit, Bob. We're doing this for an hour. Alright. So I just got rid of all my other nanite stuff. So let's see where am I at? Oh, I got three storage augmentation back. So that's awesome. I spent five and I got three back. That was great luck. So let's go ahead and get rid of this and do the final tally and see where we're at. Alright guys, let's do a quick check and see where we're at after an hour so I ran to another system I sold everything off that had better prices it's good to do that I just jumped through a portal um, we started with one storage augmentation I ended with three so I've got two up there that I didn't sell I'm gonna save for next time we made just over 30 million units in an hour and we made over 16,000 nanites in an hour now uh, the longer you do this the better average you're gonna have actually um, because you're going to come across more s-class ships you're gonna come across more upgrades I think when I did it before I went from, I made about 70,000 nanites in about three hours, so I was averaging well over 20,000 per hour when I did it. The time will fly by, guys. It is so much fun running back and forth. But the key, remember, you've got you. Yeah, you've got to follow the rules. Keep it under two and a half million. Don't buy lower than a B class and uh, be in a system that has a lot of traffic. All right, guys, that's going to do it for this episode. If you enjoyed it, make sure you hit that thumbs up button uh, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Uh, if you want to come play with me and Alex, the guy who put this together, and a group of other folks who are kind of going through No Man's Sky together and learning and sharing tips and tricks, check the description down below. Uh, we've got a great group of guys in my Discord that are playing and uh, helping each other out, noobs and guys who've been doing this for a while, uh, all come together at Survival Bob's Place. <laughs> guys, I uh, hope you enjoyed it again. Remember, if you're going to be a Bob, have fun with it. We'll see you next time.